The 2-2. Two -two. Line drive, base hit. Souza cannot cut it off. It'll go to the wall. Gardner will score. A-Rod's at second. He has an RBI double. And the Yankees have tied the game at one. The 2-0. Each row to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall. 3,000 is in right field, and each row is racing for third. And he's done it. He's climbed the mountain. A triple. And he has arrived at 3,000. Breaking ball, Yelich, center field deep. Back goes Dyson at the wall. season is second of the night wins it for San Diego seven to four. Garcia Puig pinch hitting and he will hit a ground ball towards short. Russell goes to buy his one. Over to now from the home of the Rangers there's a good and look now, at Globe Life Park here 2015. in Arlington. Tonight we wrap up this brief two game series between the New York Mets and the Texas Rangers. Rangers baseball next. Andrew Kashner is on the mound for game two. Harold, any thoughts? Well, he's got interesting numbers. And if you look at his strikeouts to walk ratio, it's one to one. So it's not great, it's not terribly bad. It means he throws strikes, but he doesn't have the stuff that's going to totally dominate hitters. He's got to rely a lot on his defense. We'll watch to see how this one unfolds. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. A stolen base total leads the ball club. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Another two two offering. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Swing and a little blooper to center. Gomez will take care of this one. And Reyes is retired to open up the ball game. And now a chance to meet the Mets. What's the key for him if they want to split this series, HR? I think the key to this game is you got to string hits together. They've got a nice lineup, and if they can continue to put the pressure on one guy to the next guy, just keep adding on the hits, they're going to score some runs. Digging in, Michael Conforto. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at-bats or time in the field. And, Harold, you take a look at these Rangers entering play here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matt, they've been playing a good ball. You know, yesterday's game, a low-scoring game, but still came off with the victory. So they're looking for the sweep in this little two-game set now. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Earl Hendricks. Yeah, Matt, and Hendricks is another one of those well-respected umpires. Some say he favors one side of the plate from time to time, but most of the time, it's not Nothing very clear. noticeable. The left fielder number 52, Ioannis Cespedes. So coming to the plate, Ioannis Cespedes. He's definitely a long ball threat, currently third in the National League in that category. Runner at first here, one man out. And there he goes towards second. And this one's in the dirt. And 
just what they wanted offensively as the runner moves into scoring position. Fool him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because once they're committed to swinging it's hard for them to slow their swings down and that appeared to be the case there. Stepping in now Jay Bruce. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. Matt, in last night's game, this is the situation right here. They didn't do a very good job driving guys in with runs in scoring position. Right here, you got a guy in scoring position. You got to capitalize and drive in. If you swung at a bad pitch last night, well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Mets leave one. Now the Rangers will get their first crack scoreless. Robert Gesellman will be on the bump for game two of the series. HR, what's the word on him? Matt, uh, he's coming off a great outing in my mind. I mean, he pitched into the ninth inning. He got the win for his team. He's a guy that's durable and is able to go deep in games. Hopefully, we'll see that again from him today. Standing in, Elvis Andrews. And as you check out his righty lefty splits no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. Something has to give here's the payoff pitch very weakly on the ground. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Now time now to look at Jeff Bannister's Rangers lineup card in this one. Danny who stands out to you. Well I'm always excited when I get to see Adrian Beltre do his thing. He's doing some really special things at home. He's hitting over 350 in games at home, so he's a guy you want to watch. Pretty good odds he'll have another big game here. At the plate, Carlos Gomez. And there you see his righty-lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. One out, nobody on. Oh, yeah. ah, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. Hit on the ground out to short. Cabrera's there. Throw gets him. Two down. Batting third. Third baseman. Into the box Adrian. now. Adrian Beltre. Oh, and as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Bruce moving to his left. Go the Rangers. And this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Here's Neil Walker his lifetime line against Andrew Kashner two for ten. Now the pitch. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a three one count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. Three and two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Batting sec. First baseman. Here's Lucas 21. Duda now. First Lucas. chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Come on, guys. Turn two. Runner. He's running towards second. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Damn. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he won't have to contend with the throw as that misses for ball four. First and second now to start the inning. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Here now is his Dribble Cabrera and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here comes the three one pitch slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get to Andrus 
Return throw is in time, and what do you know? They do get the double play. Oh, that's a rally killer right there. They were in great shape with two on and nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. In now, Travis Darno. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. The two one pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it. Pro far. And that ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. Through an inning and a half, no score on the show. Here's Rognet Odor now. It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. Hard on the ground towards short. And a flip to first from Cabrera in time for the first out. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And I'm looking down there at Azdrubal Cabrera. Does he still make the routine play? Yes. But man, when he was young, he could make the highlight reel play with the best of them. So fun to watch. Stepping up to the plate, Nomar Mazzara. And he comes into this one really slumping. The numbers there over the past several games, not very pretty. Count is full. Here's the pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball. So I think he wasn't expecting it at all. Into the box now, Jonathan Lucroy. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Bruce has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Rangers set down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Now a good no, slider it. that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless yeah. you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing nope, you don't want to do, Runner, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. And that's what you Very want from your leadoff hitter. Okay. Show some Ryan. great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. He's going, run. Runner goes for second. And a step off. Poor base running there. Got him caught the hot box between first and second. And he'll be run down between first and second. And a mental mistake that time as he's picked off for the first out. Clearly, he was just a little too anxious to break for second that time. He jumped early, and the pitcher did a nice job of just stepping off the mound and then dealing with the play from there. Sometimes you'll see a guy flinch and balk the runner to second on those types of plays. Into the box, Jose Reyes. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Wow, well, if that's not a strike, a I don't hitter. know what is. Michael I know these subs Gonzalo. have a tough job. I get it. We'll see if he gets the next borderline call or if there are any makeup calls coming up. And there goes Reyes. Pitches a cold strike, the throw. And it's not in time, so Reyes has himself a stolen base. 
So he's in safely there following the one out steal of second and with that we take you to our team leaderboard to display the clubs with the most stolen bases so far this year. And you can see that the Mets are currently best in the senior circuit in that category. And he pops him up back behind second base. Squeezing it is Odor and there are two away now. Here's you on a Cespedes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Spin and a throw back to second. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And he takes a cold strike too. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two. Grounder down the line at third. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a little tapper. And a super play to gun his man down as the side is retired. So they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs despite the two walks. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we are tied nothing nothing. Here's Joey Gallo now. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Yanked on the ground down the line. Another full count pitch home to first. Duda's got it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. And with that, we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. James Loney. At the plate, James Loney looking to stay hot. He's been a real threat at the plate the last week or so. Rangers still searching for hit number one in the ballgame. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And there to bring it in is Cabrera for route number two. Here's Jerickson Profile. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. The three two one more time and another foul ball ready now with the payoff pitch hard hit ball to second Walker has it he'll whip this one to first in time and that ends the inning make it nine straight here to start the ball game on now to the top of inning number four and we are tied nothing nothing. Here's Jay Bruce now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Pitch on the way. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Payoff pitch one more time. Shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Second baseman. Digging in to try it again. Neil Walker. Neil Walker. He drew a walk his first time up. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Mazzaro looks up. Gone! A solo home run here for Neil Walker. Home run number nine on the year, and the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. As we take a look at the pitch location here, you can see that the pitch wasn't even in the strike zone, but clearly that didn't matter.
Standing in now, Lucas Duda. Grounded softly to the right. Loney ranges to his right, and he'll step on first himself for the out. The shortstop, number 13. Ready for another chance as Drupal Cabrera comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he'll come back with 1 in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. Now the pitch. Called strike that time, and it's even at 2 and 2. Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. When a pitch is close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at-bats. He's done it. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Mets draw first blood thanks to this solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's 1-0 Mets. Here's Elvis Andrus now to start the inning out. Matt Vaskersian, Harold Reynolds, and Dan Plezak with you in the booth. Here it comes now to Andrus. Swing and a line drive. And the Rangers are in the hit column. Oh, that ball just barely stayed fair over the third base bag. Well, nice oh, job by the left fielder. Good. Cutting that ball off and holding the first base on the sink. Stepping in now, Carlos Gomez. In the dirt here. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering to two balls and two strikes now. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough goal that has been played with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you could tell these things and exploit them. Runners off for second. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is taken in by Reyes for route number two. So we saw the fastball there as he got the pop out and that will segue right into our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And both of these guys bringing it pretty good. 97 and 93 is the top recorded speed so far. The 1-1 one, one pitch takes a knee-high fastball. Come on. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Fouled back. Now another 1-2. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Rangers leave one. They're down one nothing. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One and one, here it comes. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And that one right down Main Street. All even at two and two. Here it is. A fastball that just misses inside. This is not the guy you want to walk right here. Look, the eight hitter, this could set up a big inning if he gets on. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this him? inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. One run, two hits, 
and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Squared that one up just a little late. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Now a ground ball for Andrus at short. This could be two. The second for one. On to first, and they get the double play. Third baseman, number seven, Jose Reyes. Digging in once again, Jose Reyes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. Ready on one and two. Hit on the ground to third. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. That was really special. You know, he was down the count, and he just said, I got a battle. He battled it through and got rewarded with the base hit the other way. Into the box now, Michael Conforto pulled toward right center field. Mazzara's on his horse. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Mets strand one. They lead it one to nothing. In now the power hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazzara. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. And there to take it in is Granderson for the first out of the inning. Now batting. A little bit over halfway Catherine. home tonight, bottom of the Donovan. fifth, as we get a look Ooh, at our boy. line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys, and they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. In is the catcher Jonathan Lucroy comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. I'll tell you he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone they don't have an answer for it. Here's Joey Gallo now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Late swing and a ball line fouled into the seats past the third base dugout. The 1 and 2 pitch. Swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. 1 2 3 go the Rangers. They're on the short end of a 1 to nothing score. for another shot now. Joanna Cespedes. He'll begin things here against Andrew Kachner. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. And That's he takes ball. very close to the inside corner here. Two and two though. Well it's been a good outing so far but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. And a slider. Oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. Riding in once again, Jay Bruce. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. In for a strike and he jumps ahead 1 and 2 now. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen you. This is the oh, part of the lineup side. that he has to be really careful with. Misses ball 2. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Tapped out in front of home. Throw in time at first for out number two. Now batting. Second base. Neil Walker. He's tried in again, and you can bet he'd love to do again what he did back in the fourth. A solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far. High 
high in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three, but they hold a one-nothing lead. Here's the first baseman, James Loney. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base, so we'll see if they can get something going here. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. A swinging bunt to the mound. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. So stepping in, Elvis Andrews, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready with the 3-0 pitch. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. I think he's pitched better than anyone really expected in this one. He's done a real nice job, but someone's going to make him pay if he puts too many more pitches in that location. He's set. Here's the three and two. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Granderson going back. And that one is out of here. A two run shot that gives them the lead. So a two run shot to left center fourth home run for him on the season and the Rangers move ahead it's now two to one. Hey, there are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat. This guy right now is swinging the bat so well I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. In now, Carlos Gomez. A shot down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. On its way is pitch number 75. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's the one and two delivery. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Carlos Gomez goes down for the second out here in the bottom half. Ready for another chance? Adrian Beltre. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now a little pop up off toward the first base side and no one can get there. It's a foul ball to two balls two and, two. and two strikes now. Well one thing about him he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets and a neck high fastball that time for the guy in the mound. This is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches and this A.B. has there's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And now that will hop over the wall so he'll be at second here with two away on a ground rule double. That is what every hitting coach in the game teaches you to do. Don't ever try and do too much with a pitch. Just use the whole field and go with the pitch wherever you can. Pushes it down the line and it bounces over for a ground rule double. And ball four now as he'll take first on the intentional walk. That's what's called getting the treatment. Everyone knows he's a power threat with the bat, so it's all about not letting him be the guy that beats you. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Nomar Mazzara. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. And good take that time on a low breaking ball. Two and two now. Matt, I'm looking for him to challenge him right here. You know, 2-2, two, two, you don't want to go to 3-2, and two, have those runners on the move on that certain pitch. So 
2 2 is your challenge pitch. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Here's another 2 2. Hit hard on the ground to third. Oh, what a stop on the slide. It's there and he's out. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. We'll return to Texas in just a moment. Welcome back to Arlington. The Rangers on top in this one as we get a look at our game summary through the first six innings of play. Here's Lucas Duda now. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. And now the Ranger bullpen swings into action. A lefty and a right-hander are throwing down there. Takes a knee-high fastball. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Turned on down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Lazar is on the move. Two down. So he's just a third of an inning away from putting up another zero as we take a look at the ball clubs with the lowest team ERAs. And we see that these guys currently sit fifth best in the American League in that category. Ready once again, Travis Darno. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. No contact there, and it's 1 and 2. He's really throwing the ball well in this game, and the thing to me that stands out is that two-seamer. He's got great movement, and he's keeping hitters off balance with it. That's it to short. Does he have another 1-2-3 inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. Ladies and down in order go the Mets. The they still trail it here, 2-1. to one. Jerry Blevins gets the call from the pen the to take York over Mets. on the mound and start Number the home seven. Jerry Levin. Digging in to try it again. Jonathan Lucroy. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. And he gets the call there, three and one. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Now batting. Digging in, Joey Gallo. It's Joey been an 0 for Gallo. 2 effort for him to this point. He's set, and the 3 and 1 pitch. Strike two called, and it's full 3 and 2. Here comes the payoff pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Another payoff pitch. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. On the move is Bruce. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Coming to the plate now, James Loney. Over one with a run scored thus far. And this is taken for a cold strike, and he's not in love with that call either. It's one and two now. One and two, here it comes. Bounce to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Curtis Granderson will start things off when we return. It's the Rangers two, and the Mets one. Jake Deepman has been summoned from the bullpen, as he'll do so to start the eighth. Jake Deepman. Here's the center fielder Curtis Granderson. His past history with Jake Diekman, one for four. A 
Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Fouled back. That's a big fastball, obviously, and we're going to see this reliever throw it a lot. Here's another 0 2. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. Ready on one and two. And this is swung on and missed by Granderson, and that's the first out of the inning. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. He's set. Here's the 3-0. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Ray is awaiting the 3-1. Looking at a tough pitch called a strike. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bullpen here. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gomez has a read on it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three. Our score remains two to one. Hansel right, Robles is play. on to pitch out now of the bullpen the in the bottom half of the Number eighth. 47. Hansel Robles. Jurickson Profar will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. But this will land untouched. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch for Walker now at second. And he's retired one away. The shortstop, number one. Elvis Here's Elvis Andrus Andrew. now. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. A slider that he looks at over the outside corner. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. And the slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. So he threw the slider darting away to him two times in a row. Now I don't think he'll go for it again. I'm looking for something hard inside on this pitch. Skied into very shallow right. Bruce has a read on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Center fielder number 14. Striding into the box. Carlos Gomez, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. Granderson on the move. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. Rangers set down in order. They lead it 2 to 1. Back here in the Lone Star State with Major League Baseball on the show. Set to start the ninth inning in this one. Sam now Dyson the takes the ball now in inning number, number nine, looking to close the door. Sam Dyson. Here's your one to Cespedes. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. And that misses 2 and 1. A lot of righty pitchers will throw that two seamer to right handed hitters to try to jam the guy or even make some firewood. He got it in there, but that was a good take to lay off and take the ball. Nope. Fastball, and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Yeah. 
Ready with the 3 1. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Here's Jay Bruce now. He's batting cleanup, but has been shut down so far at the plate, 0 for 3. Here it is on 3 and 1. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Faces are empty, one man out. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Now batting, second baseman. Neil Walker. Here's Neil Walker. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And that one right down Main Street. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. Ligaris runs. Get hard back up the middle. Step on the back for one. Back to first. It's a double play. Right when he needed it. And this ball game is over. Yeah, it might only be a two-game set, but listen, it's still a sweep. Hey, man, winners make the rules around here. They earned it. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one, the final score. The Texas Rangers get their 20th home win this year. Andrew Kashner earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Robert Gesellman pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. Sam Dyson wraps it up for the save, his 24th on the season. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Final line score for our ballgame tonight for the victorious Rangers. Two runs on three hits. No error. Cologne looking for his first hit of the year. Oh. He drives one. Deep left field. Back goes Upton. Back near the wall. It's out of here. <laughs> Bartolo has done it. The impossible has happened. This is one of the great moments in the history of baseball. Bartolo Cologne has gone deep. Line drive left field. That's it. Number 1,000 for Jose Altuve. And he's going to jam on the brakes and get back.